whether you should learn machine learning in 2025 or not. You could take linear regression, you could take support vector machine, you could take random forest, you could take exeboost. But let's simplify it even further. Why you should learn machine learning and not just talking about machine learning? Well, to talk about this, we'll also have to talk, cover something called generative use cases. Deterministic outputs or deterministic predictions are basically if you send the same input to a particular algorithm, you will always get the same prediction no matter how many times you run the same input. Hello everyone and good day to all. Today we are going to talk about whether you should learn machine learning in 2025 or not. To answer this question, let's take a particular example. We are going to take the example that let's assume that you are a credit card company and you have to predict whether a person should be allowed to get a credit card or not. Well, in that particular definition, what would be the models that you would take? You could take linear regression, you could take support vector machine, you could take random forest, you could take XG boost. But let's simplify it even further. The overall scope of the problem statement is that you will have some structured data, you will implement one machine learning algorithm and you will get a prediction of yes or no. A simple classification problem. But before you do that, you will have to tackle many kinds of use cases within that particular problem statement. First of all, you will have to do something called descriptive analytics. Okay, then we'll talk about diagnostic and then we'll talk about predictive and prescriptive and we'll talk about each of these in a bit. So first, let's talk about descriptive analytics. So descriptive analytics is just looking at the past data and describing what happened. This would be equivalent to your exploratory data analysis. This would be equivalent to your correlation analysis. So basically, you are trying to understand that in the past, the company, you as a company, to whom were you giving credit cards and to whom you were declining the credit cards. Diagnostic use cases talk about why it happened. So basically, you will be doing not just the analysis of data, but also the business process. Why some people were accepted? Why some people were not accepted? How did it impact the business when bad people were accepted and good people were not accepted? Then finally, you will build your predictive model. This model will talk about which people to give the, give the credit card to and which people not to give to the credit card to. That is called predictive analytics. Okay. Finally, you will also be talking about what should be done to ensure that these people should be getting the a credit card. What should changes to the business need to be done to ensure that these people are not getting a credit card. But this video is about why you should learn machine learning and not just talking about machine learning. Well, to talk about this, we'll also have to talk, cover something called generative use cases. So, when generative AI came in, the, one of the first use cases were creating stories, arts, images. It is generating content. It is creating new data rather than working on historical data. Now, what do people expect? People think that all of these kinds of analytics will be overtaken by generative AI. But is that the case? Well, to understand this, and why this will not happen, let's talk about something called probabilistic versus deterministic predictions. Probabilistic versus deterministic predictions. Well, deterministic outputs or deterministic predictions are basically if you send the same input to a particular algorithm, you will always get the same prediction no matter how many times you run the same input no matter how many times you run the same prediction. But this is not the case for probabilistic predictions. If you provide the same inputs, there's no guarantee you will be getting the same prediction. right? And you can test this. 
open up chat gpt 10 separate instances of chat gpt and you can just ask a simple question you will notice that even if the answer is absolutely correct the language being used the logic being used is it will be different at least two or three times okay now imagine come, let's come back to our use case of credit cards right if you are a company that sanctions credit cards will it be okay if you try to run the same input and you get two separate predictions will that be an acceptable thing there is no organization in the world that would be okay with that there is no company no enterprise that would be okay with that so what will happen then what is actually going to happen and we i have been seeing this more and more often well we are still going to use machine learning but what will be the change the change will be that using the machine learning some prediction will be given and using gen ai the explanation the validation and the elaboration and the justification of the prediction will be provided so imagine that so this covers a really great weakness of machine learning you had an output prediction but you didn't exactly understand why that prediction was made you didn't actually understand what parameters impacted that prediction the most it is only a technical person who can come in and explain that to you but what if you are not a technical person what if you are a business folk right that is where geni ai comes into play that explains the prediction in simple terms that elaborates the prediction that justifies the prediction in simple terms this way not only does your entire machine learning system become end user friendly but also you can do some sort of validation to increase the overall accuracy of the entire system right so this is why you should still learn machine learning and we have heard that a lot of geni ai only projects geni ai only pilots are failing there was a recent study by mit that said that 95% of geni ai pilots are failing well if you only use geni ai that statement may still be true but if you are using machine learning algorithms to predict an output and just using geni ai to justify that output then the out then the entire system becomes much more robust well that is all from me today uh, i hope i explained why you need to learn machine learning even in 2025 hope to see you soon if you have any questions please ask them in the comments below and i'll try to answer as many as i can